This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how I got this photo from this to this look here. So today I'm going to be using this photo that I posted a behind the scenes from recently on my YouTube channel. So if you want to check it out, make sure you do. I was using flash in this one and it was a bit strong and the background wasn't as vibrant as I would like it to be. And I found a technique for you guys to use that will fix these kind of issues, no problem. So keep your eyes peeled for the video and let's just get started. Okay, so let's start with this image. It's clear cut just as it is straight from the camera. As you see, my model is exposed relatively pretty well. She is a bit too bright for my liking, but it's nothing too extreme. However, the background is very dark and I would like to fix it. So what I'm going to do is use this relatively new tool that Lightroom introduced and it is the mask tool. And I use it to select her as the subject, but you can also select a sky or a background. And I find it super helpful to balance things like this. And I just wanted to show you how I do it. So subject will obviously select the subject and the background will select everything but the subject. One useful feature that I wanted to mention before I get into it is once you select your subject mask, it comes up with a person here. And as you see here, you can either mask out the entire person or you can select their face, skin, body, skin, eyebrows, eye, iris, lips, teeth, hair, etc. Which makes it super easy to make it way more customizable. So I definitely recommend looking into that as well. For this particular case, I wanted to use the entire person selection. However, you can also use these smaller ones if you are a bit more specific about your selection um, so what i do in this kind of situation is i will get my mask for my subject and i have to say 95 percent of the time it is super super accurate so it's not a problem and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to lower the exposure quite drastically just to kind of match it almost with the background and there's a reason for it um, trust the process it is going to look better <laughs> i promise um, so i'll probably go to maybe like minus one 50 or something along those lines and then um, we are going to exit that just leave it as it is um, and as you see straight away it already looks balanced and I think you know where I'm going with this next thing I'm going to grab my exposure slider and bring everything back up and as you see it looks way better already however this sand here is super overexposed so I'm going to go back to this um, I'm going to select my mask and then click the little plus and I'm going to add a brush. Uh, you could also add a linear gradient for something like this, but I want to have a bit more control. And I'm already adding to the mask that's here. So I'm going to select my brush. I'm going to make it a bit larger just because it's a large area. And I'm going to go here. As you see, this is very strong right now. So we're going to fix it. Um, I'm going to add I'm going to lower the flow for sure and then add a bunch of feather and then in the areas that is just like super strong I'm just going to feather it kind of like with blending your makeup you know but different and then if you need to deselect like here I'm just going to press option and I get um, the brush that gets rid of stuff and again here I'm going to lower the flow and higher the feather so I can kind of just work on this area here and maybe this area here because it does look a bit darker so again as you see straight away we're getting way more balanced right now okay um so here's the before here's the after what we're also going to do is we're going to change the profile as always i'm going to probably use standard because that's what i usually use you can go through all the other profiles the portrait one is actually pretty good for this one um it adds um a bit less shadows into the image which i think helps in this kind of situation however we don't really have to do that I actually kind of like deep hmm, interesting uh i think we're going to actually go with deep this time i never really use it but i think for this particular image it looks pretty nice um so now we're going to go up even a bit more in exposure and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to my um little mask here and make it even a bit darker maybe like minus 170 or maybe even one, minus 190 we're going pretty extreme but as you see here it's so much better already and now we can play around so we can bring up the exposure even a little bit more we can bring out the highlights down maybe a little bit not too much because it is already pretty balanced um 
but it's definitely an option as well you can bring up the blacks if you want to have a more neutral image that isn't too contrasty it's all personal preference really i do kind of like the colors that are already in the image i don't really like to change white balance in this kind of situation uh we can add a tiny bit of dehaze if we do want a bit more contrast um and just making everything look a bit more crisp and in terms of skin colors and everything else as i said again i kind of like the way things are um and this is pretty much it there you go this is the before and after and you can use it in multiple different situations as you see here i used it obviously to just darken the background what you can also do um, with these uh, masks is you can for example select the background um, so for example if i want it to be a bit more vibrant or maybe a different color i can just select the background and as you see here just selects everything but the model which is also super helpful you can add saturation remove saturation this video is sponsored by squarespace are you looking to create a stunning website that showcases your brand and sells your story Look no further than Squarespace. With their easy-to-use platform and beautiful templates, you can design a professional and modern website in a matter of hours. Squarespace is perfect for photographers, small business owners, and entrepreneurs. Don't let the lack of coding skills hold you back from creating a website that you'll be proud to show off. There are hundreds of fully customizable templates to choose so you can really make it your own. The platform is packed with features like e-commerce, SEO, and social media integrations, which is crucial when it comes to running your photography business. If you're like me and constantly on the phone or in meetings with clients, Squarespace offers you scheduling tools for your website as well. These tools allow you to create and manage appointments, bookings, and reservations through your Squarespace website. Your customers will be able to view your availability, schedule appointments, and pay for services directly at the site as well. If that sounds like something you'd like to try, make sure to go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And once you're ready to go, use my code squarespace.com slash Anit. So as you see here, these are our two masks. We selected the background here. We can even make it brighter if you want to. You see the massive difference and it's not only for night shots. I think it helps a lot if you have flash and balance in studio and so on. It's definitely helpful to look into it. Um, I think it's one of my favorite things to do in Lightroom now. I think it's super helpful that the masks are also so accurate and it just makes your image look cool. So I love using it. Okay guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As you see here, again, this is the before and after. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you like this technique and if you've used it before. And I'll see you guys in the next video.